First, I want to just remind you of von Franz's method because we will be uh, consider holding this in the background as we look at uh, Neumann's account. Uh, first of all, she says, uh, take a note of time and place. Where is the story happening? Uh, and in what place? Um, is it in the forest? Is it in the city? Is it in the country? Where is it? So on. Um, and then look at the dramatis uh, personae. Uh, and she says, I recommend counting the number of people at the beginning and the end. Now, with regard to Amor and Psyche, it's very interesting uh, to notice the difference of, uh, uh, in the cast of characters between the beginning and the end. As we'll see, at the beginning, they're pretty much all human characters. At the end, Psyche is the only human character, and there are a lot of mythological characters around her. So there's a significant change in uh, Dramatis Persona between the beginning and the end of the story. And then there's the naming of the problem. Uh, what is the problem? The fairy tale starts out um, uh, with a, a situation and then very quickly states a difficulty, a problem, or a problem develops. Um, and we'll see that that is the case with Amor and Psyche. There is a problem right at the beginning of the story, and that's the problem that will have to be solved in the end. And we'll see how it evolves. Amor and Psyche, it's a, it's a wonderful end, ending. Uh, it's, it's a comedy in a sense that it ends well. It's not a tragedy. And uh, you can see many fairy tale elements in there, all of which are discussed in detail by Neumann. Now, Neumann divides the tale into five uh, parts. He says there's an introduction that's a statement of place and the problem. That would be the first uh, uh, part of the tale. Then there's the marriage of death. And um, he's going to comment on this marriage of death. He does quite a lot of amplification of what it means to marry death in terms of psychological development of the feminine. And then there's the third uh, division of this. Uh, that's the act, the unconscious union, the union with, with uh, Eros and Psyche in the dark, then their separation. And then there's the change from the passive main in Psyche into a, a very active uh, uh, Amazon-like woman, actually. She, Psyche becomes very active after her giving up her suicide attempt. She um, acts decisively. She does everything that is, is required of her. She becomes a heroine. Now here's a picture uh, by some painter uh, of the whole country coming around clamoring to worship uh, the beautiful Psyche and Aphrodite's temples being uh, abandoned. Now this theme of death and the maiden is where Neumann really starts his interpretation. He says the marriage of death, that uh, within the patriarchal, within the matriarchal psychology, the matriarchal world, every marriage is death. Every marriage is seen as a rape of Hades and a loss of a daughter. So he's making reference to a, a, a Greek myth uh, where Hades erupts out of the underworld, seizes, uh, Persephone takes her to be his bride in the underworld and separates her from her mother, Demeter. And this separation from the mother and going off with a man within the context of matriarchal psychology is seen as a, as a violence, a loss, and, and something to be mourned. It's like a death. Marriage of death or marriage as death belongs to the feminine psyche, Neumann says. Uh, marriage means separation a step in individuation from childhood to adulthood. 